totally sweet, totally rad, I'm back. Man, it's been a while. I'm the Pleasure Dude. That's right, the Pleasure Dude. The one you remember from a long time ago. But now, I'm in a podcast and I'm going to be bringing you cool, chicky chick porn star interviews and other crazy stuff, including my good friend, Mr. Wheeler, who's going to be working with General Hussein and showing you the craziest pro wrestling from around the world, just like the old days. So let's take a look at our first porn star interview. That's right. I'm going to show you stuff from the past in my first couple podcasts so you can get ready for the new stuff. And I'll be interviewing new porn stars soon to come. So our first porn star from the past is one of Stormy Daniels' first interviews. Yes, Stormy Daniels, who I think did Donald Trump. And there was all that crazy stuff. So I remember at Wicked Pictures booth about 10 years ago when I first interviewed her. And I've interviewed her about six times since then. In the first interview, her handlers came up to me and said, Mr. Pleasure Dude, please, this is an upcoming big porn star. She's a big shot. She's huge. She's huge. She's unbelievable. And be gentle with her. Don't scare her. We just signed her as a contract girl. So what did I do? I put her in a headlock. That had to be edited out due to lawsuits, but let's take a good look with one of Stormy Daniels' first porn star interviews by me, The Pleasure Dude. Thank you for watching Late Night with The Pleasure Dude. Totally sweet, rad. Let's take a look. Totally gnarly. Now, we've seen beautiful women, but take a look at this. This is unbelievable. Now, what is your name, Miss Incredible? Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels. I've seen her. My God, I've fantasized about her a million times. Now, my question is, what's your website? We're going to put it up right here. Clubstormy.com. But you already knew that. Don't well, I wanted the fans to know it. But I'm going to ask one question now. What advice do you have for the guys watching, like to to like get a girl that's as rad as you? Oh, uh, don't talk. Don't talk. Well, I guess I screwed <laughs> no, up. I'm just kidding. Um, be funny. Well, be funny. that's my best advice. Totally, totally rad. So check out her website and then. Make sure you get all of her films collected because look at this. This is unbelievable. Wicked is the best one. Wicked is totally wicked, baby. Totally rad, totally sweet, totally gnarly. It's the Pleasure Dude here. You can get my show, Late Night with the Pleasure Dude, on Podbean right now. But coming up soon, wherever you get your podcasts, you can get... Late Night with the Pleasure Dude, coming soon. But right now, let's take a look at Mr. Wheeler and General Hussein with some crazy extreme bloody wrestling. Totally sweet. I'm Mr. Wheeler. I'm, I'm Big General Hussein. And we're back. We're back. And we're going to take a look at some extreme bloody wrestling from Japan. And it's going to be good. And I don't mean the kind of wrestling that Trump and Biden do. They should be in the ring like these guys. Let's take a look. Hey, that's bloody, but it ain't bloody enough. Looks like they fucking don't know what they're doing yet. I want to see some action here. I guess he's a follower of the Abdullah the Butcher or Sabu from ECW, if I'm not mistaken. He's the same place they used to get trained. Now it's getting better and better. Yeah. Are these guys little girls? Let's see some blood! I want to 
to see someone die in the ring. Come on. It's coming out. The blood is coming out too. They have to punish each other. The body have to get abused a little bit after that. They're going to show you. Do these guys think they're bad? You guys are jokes. Let's see some action. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this one. Yep. Oh, my God. These guys, they better learn how to wrestle. Don't be a jabroni. Do you know what's a jabroni mean? Jabroni mean, that means you want to get so weak. Let me show you how you are the weak. That mean, like this guy. Oh, yeah. See? Which one of these wrestlers is Biden? And which one of these young ladies is Trump? They both suck. Well, I don't know about what you're talking about. I'm talking about extreme, bloody, bad. That's how it's that. You don't drink that kind of whatever jabroni drink. You're going to get drunk out of that. This is, this is a shoot. This is worse than the UFC, worse than whatever, any kind of sport. You guys like a gymnastic go up and down trying to make some dollar. This is a real game. Now there is some blood. Good. Finally. We've That's got what the I told blood. you. Now you better just bite that goddamn his neck. Or, or oh, did you see that kick? Now there is some blood. Finally. That's it. That's it. That's it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, take him out. That's it. That's good. That's all they can do. I guess that's all they learn. That's it. I think we've got a winner here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You know, if that pleasure dude could just get the balls that I've got, maybe he'd have something. Well, I don't know. That's between the... I'm, uh, I'm, I've been around the world at least about four, three, four times around the... I mean, I don't know what you talk about. That's what I'm coming out and show the fan. I like him to death. I hope everything be healthy for them too. That's one for my... Yeah, let's hear. What have you been up to, General Hussein? Well, it would take about nine months working between the Middle East and Middle East. We got the three, four countries get united. We are waiting. I mean, I'm, I am working 12 hours a day, talking to the kings, talking to the Amir, talking to the queens, all of that. So hopefully, hopefully everything be good, nice and peace in this beautiful earth. Have you been talking to the United States? Have you fixed Oh, well, we are every day. I'm talking to everybody. I'm talking to my uh, police at uh, the ambassador. I was talking to the lady ambassador in the South Africa. I was talking to the uh, couple guys in the Bahrain. So they, before they come to the United States, so they make a deal. I was behind this deal, believe it or not. And I think people are going to appreciate me. I hope so. Because this world's in a bit of trouble. You know, it's in so much trouble that I actually fucked Paris Hilton. Well, I don't know about Paris Hilton, this, this. I need to, the whole nation need to be peace. I mean, peace, and that's what we like. That's what peace. I'm looking for. Let's it. end this show. Everybody out there, be nice to someone. That's okay? It. Be nice. Not like me. Be nice. This is Mr. Wheeler and... General Hussein. That's right. General Hussein, the big man. We're out of here. I hope you appreciated it. Look for Late Night with the Pleasure Dude on podcasts. Soon to be anywhere you can get your podcast. And it's going to be sick. Hot chick, porn stars, and crazy wrestling. And in a couple weeks, we'll be bringing you girl wrestling. And I mean hot chicky chicks. So, peace out from Mr. Wheeler and General Hussein. Rat, yeah. Totally sweet. I'm back as the Marley's do. I'm totally sweet, dude. Marley's pipe and tobacco has a ginormous selection of glass. I'm totally sweet. Totally sweet. Marley's pipe and tobacco has everything you'd want in a head shop. Totally sweet. Totally gnarly. Marley's has two rad locations. Totally sweet. <laughs> and we sell five DVDs for 20 bucks. And totally sweet. Totally sweet, totally gnarly, totally rad. You're watching Late Night with the Pleasure Dude on Podbean. And soon to come on anywhere that you get your podcast, 
We're about to take a look now at Kirsten Price from Boston, porn star. She became huge. And she was a Hawaiian tropic girl for a long time before she decided to have sex for money. And let's take a look at this young lady and see her beauty and hear what she has to say. Totally sweet. Let's take a look. Totally rad, totally sweet, Wicked Pictures booth, it's Kirsten Price. God, look how yummy you look. Thank you know, we you. didn't realize until recently you were a Hawaiian Tropic winner, the big winner, right? I was, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Born in 1981 in Boston, right? <laughs> I was actually I'm obsessed with you. Are. I was actually okay. born in Rhode Island, but yeah. Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Here's, <laughs> here's a question for you. Okay. Okay, all of a sudden, Wicked Picture says, okay, it's totally cool for you to do this. I come in with $50 million. Would you do a movie having sex with Ted Bundy and Charles Manson at the same time? No. $20,000, would you do Paris Hilton? Yes. If you could be any animal, what would you be? Oh, wow, that's a tough one. An animal, I'd probably be like a wolf. Okay, you become a wolf, but you still have your brain. Do you think that you'd have sex with just animals, humans, or both? Um, <laughs> um, being a wolf, I'd probably only have sex with animals because um, I like the feel of fur. I know have you studied method acting? Um, no. No, but you know, I do like to stay in character right now. I'm in character. I'm. A <laughs> What's your thought? What is your thought on extraterrestrials? Um, I, you know, I'm afraid of them. Totally rad, totally gnarly. We're about to take a look at a very special man. Rested in peace. He died a couple years ago. Dennis Hawk, owner of Las Vegas's Bunny Ranch. You're going to see me interviewing him and... This man could have sex with the hottest women anytime he wanted for free because he created the first legal whorehouses in Vegas. There was the Bunny Ranch, and then he had another one. And unbelievable, this guy, you're going to love this interview. And this is about two, three, four years before he died. And he, he shows you his passion for pussy, fucking, and making money. Let's take a look at Dennis Hawk, owner of the Bunny Ranch that died, so I guess his family owns it now, or it got sold, but you're going to love this interview. Totally sweet. Sweet. We've got Dennis Hoff from the Bunny Ranch. This is the most innovative guy in the world. This is the man we look up to. When did you start this? When did it come into your head to do the Bunny Ranch concept? What a novel idea to sell. 1955, the Bunny Ranch opened. I bought it in, in 1992, uh, 19 years ago. Then we went to HBO and said, let's put it on HBO, and the rest is history. We got beautiful girls like Cami Parker who's on the cover of Club International right now, Larry Flint's favorite Hustler centerfold and cover. Larry, you're jealous, aren't you? I it today, Larry. Yeah. Now, here is the question. I mean, all the guys that watch you on TV, I saw you on Oprah, right? Yep. Okay, oh, yeah. here is the question that never is asked, okay? What exactly is the rules behind the scene in regards to how you do the girls? Just any time you want? How exactly does it go down? Well, it's 24-7 hips, lips, and fingertips, and you know what, whatever your imagination can handle, Cammie, Cammie will take care of, or she'll introduce you to uh, one of her other bunny friends. Okay, let's get to one of the things in the news recently. Okay. What's the story on the uh, Virgin that's up for auction? Yeah, yeah, Virgin's second one, and we did one two years ago. This girl was 16 at the time, and she saw it on Tyra, saw it on Maury, and uh, she decided she wanted to sell her virginity. Hot, hot girl. And um, the offers are up there. It's up to 280000 right now. And I think that's just the beginning. What happened with the first one? The first one got a $3.7 million offer. Uh, and then the, the guy backed out but gave her a quarter million uh, just to back out fee. Now, what is the most expensive porn star and who was she that's been at the ranch? Well, the, the, 
truthfully, the Bunny Ranch girls command more money in, in most cases. Sunset Thomas did very well. Sunny Lane has done extremely well. There. How much for Sunny Lane? Well, I, I've seen Sunny make over 100000 in a week. Well, there's 500 girls licensed, and, and we have 50 girls working at all times. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Hey, it's Dennis from the world-famous Bunny Ranch. There ain't no business like no business. It's late night with the pleasure, dude. We're about to take a look, totally gnarly, totally sweet, at Roxy DeVille. Roxy DeVille brings up a lot of memories for me because she was in a very interesting movie that took chances and was uniquely made. And that was not the Munsters Triple X. You guys possibly remember the Munsters. It was a while back, but they show a lot of reruns of it. And she had to wear green makeup for days and days of shooting. And it smelled a little bit. And everyone in the cast had to do it. So they wore green makeup and they had sex at the same time. Let's take a look at Roxy DeVille. Good friend of Stormy Daniels and Wicked Pictures contract girl from the past. Let's roll that bean footage. <laughs> It's Bill. Roxy DeVille. Oh She's my. so totally sweet. Oh. Yum. On the subject of perversions and stuff, have you ever, like, in your private life, played with Aurora Snow? No. Dude. What character did you play in uh, Not the Munsters Triple X? You will see me right behind you. I was oh, Lily Munster. Oh, my oh God. yum, yum. Now, did that really turn you on, the whole green thing and the whole monster thing? Again, do you want the answer or do you want the real answer? The real answer. Real answer. Um, it kind of smelled funny and it kind of tasted real icky, but it was really hot doing something that was completely different. Oh, totally. Now, I what's like upcoming her. for you? Um, coming. Upcoming. <laughs> he said coming. In fact, there is something coming out. Um, I did a movie for Wicked. It's my movie and it's called Whack Jobs. Ooh, they and love it. It's a mob comedy and it's very Ooh. cute. So, Here's my question to you, yeah. okay? Um, what is your absolute favorite thing, boys or girls? Um, well, if I had to pick one, it would be boys. Totally gnarly, totally rad, totally sweet. Marie Claude. This is a real life comic book character that's the most sexy, sexual woman I'd ever seen. She had a comic book made of her, and it was all about how sexy she was. It was like an X-rated comic book. And I saw her about seven years ago at the ABN Awards convention in Vegas, and she really was special. And I mean special. She took me to a very special place that night, a place that I have never been before. Five orgasms in one night. And it hurt. Let's take a look at this beautiful beast, Marie Claude. Totally sweet, totally gnarly, totally rad. Oh, yeah. Totally sweet, totally rad. We are here to. 2013, we got past the end of the world, and we're with the raddest of the cartoon internet world of the adult industry, xposh.com, with Mary Claude. I mean, look at this. Turn around, young lady. I mean, this is every guy's fantasy. You love anime? You love hot chicks? You are going to love xposh.com. Now, let me ask you, how long have you been this fantasy character that's not only real, but unreal. I actually started as a cosplayer I think four years ago and I had the figure to do this. And I'm a former fashion designer so I can make my own outfits by myself because I don't have to tell you that everything has to be custom made. So I sew a lot, I make costumes, I go in comic cons dressing up as my favorite characters. So now I'm gonna have myself featured in a porn comic. Isn't it awesome? What is your thought on extraterrestrials? <laughs> What is my, can you repeat it again? What is your thought, Mary Claude, yeah. on extraterrestrials? Oh my God. I guess that there are some sexy ones. 
I could handle that. Can you? <laughs> yeah, probably. Hi everybody, I'm Marie Claude from Xbox.com and you're watching Late Night with the Pleasure Suit. Totally sweet, totally rad, totally gnarly. Pleasures Dude here, signing off of Late Night with the Pleasure Dude. I am so happy that you guys watched my podcast of Late Night with the Pleasure Dude on Podbean and coming soon to anywhere that you get your podcasts. And it's going to get crazier. Totally sweet. Mm -hmm.